yeah this is just going to be a quick video today looking at atheism and atheists and the reason i want to look at this is because i've actually recently been debating atheists on reddit and you know i just want to explain what a lot of these people tell me they believe and why they don't believe in god i mean most of them obviously claim the reason they don't believe in god is because they believe in science they actually believe that the belief in god is a bit backwards or at least some of them do they believe that you're a bit simple to believe in such a thing which is something that to be honest i used to believe as well i used to believe that you was uh, a bit uh naive to believe in god with no evidence but i i'm actually starting to believe that i've seen more than enough evidence to convince me that god is real and i've also seen more than enough evidence to convince me that science is sometimes totally wrong and when science has got an agenda it doesn't matter what the truth is and i'm talking about the fucking covid vaccine with this it doesn't matter what the truth is you know when science has got an agenda you won't get the truth out of it now that now we're starting to get the truth out of you but now it's too late because everybody's already had the vaccines the people that have had it i mean lucky enough for me i didn't have it you know i was under pressure you know i was genuinely believing that i wouldn't be allowed to work or even catch public transports if i didn't take it but i refused to take it and to be honest i'm glad i did and i advised everybody that i knew and not to take it as well obviously but people did what they felt was best at the time and a lot of people taking it so when science like i said the point is when science has an agenda it doesn't matter what's right or wrong and i sometimes think that science has got an agenda an agenda against christianity an agenda against god an agenda against people believing anything other than what they tell us it's like they don't like to be questioned and you know there's a few when you actually start questioning these scientists you start to realize that they really do not know or understand anything more than what we do really and obviously most scientists would say scientists that don't believe in god and the reason i say a scientist that don't believe in god is because according to a recent poll by pew research center our wrath of scientists that was polled did actually believe in god and our wrath of scientists also believed that sex is binary so there is only two genders according to 58% uh, of scientists and the belief that god exists was 51% of scientists so you know there is a lot of scientists that do believe in god to be fair and there is a lot of scientists in fact the vast majority of scientists don't believe that sex is non-binary and that you can just identify as whatever you feel like but most scientists would believe especially scientists atheist scientists they would believe that the world is obviously created by chaos and chance and that the world was controlled by and was created by nothing more than chaos and chance there was no god there was no unseen help i mean just you know absolute chance now but what are the realistic odds in everything that we see in this world today being created just by chance i mean from you know the ideal living conditions that we have that we live in that are perfect for us to live in with our deep complex codes that are embedded in our dna that are much deeper than any code that uh that is man-made like you know like uh like obviously all computers run on sim on codes but these these codes are so complex that people that top scientists and people who know what they're talking about still understand le less than 10 percent and can only read less than 10 percent of dna code and you know and yet these codes according to science or according to at least atheist scientists uh was created by nothing more than chance maths itself mathematics itself there's codes embedded in maths and then maths itself is something that wasn't created by people 
it was discovered by people. But then you've got to ask yourself, then where did that come from? How can that be, you know, something... I mean, all people did, did was come across ma mathematics. They just, they just learned how to understand it. Obviously, if they was, say, as intelligent as maybe chimps, you know, they couldn't have possibly have done that, even though I'm sure even chimps can grasp basic mathematics. But, I mean, obviously, deep and uh, deep maths is something that only human beings have been able to understand and and discover. Obviously, mathematics was discovered. It wasn't created by people. It's something that already existed. And some people say that the only way that it could have already existed is if it was created by an intelligent design. By intelligent design, in other words, something like God, or maybe some super intelligent design of aliens. But then you just still have to ask yourself, well, where did they come from? Because obviously there is a lot of stories in mythology that humans uh, was changed, altered some way by by gods, by something that the old pe that the ancient people used to call gods, and that that story goes across a lot of different religions and uh, sto uh, stories in mythology. But like I say, most atheists must believe that everything. That, that exists is just exists by chance and if you if you believe that then you've also got to believe that nothing matters and without God could there even be good and evil could these two things even exist without God because what is good and what is evil in a universe that was just created by chance and chaos there would be no such thing so where do we get these ideas from of good and evil? Obviously the Bible says that we've all got the law of God written within our hearts. So it, it, that's the Bible's answer to it. Whether science really fails and struggles to explain where else it could have come from. So I mean, there is plenty of evidence to show me that God exists. I mean, absolutely tons of it and now these atheists that I was debating on reddit uh, I actually showed them the video of Ron Wyatt's Noah's Ark discovery you know Ron Wyatt discovered uh, something that appears to be Noah's Ark in Turkey you can watch these videos on on YouTube and they're, they're like really interesting videos he discovered this in the 90s and you know lucky enough he filmed it all and you can see that it does literally have seemed to have discovered Noah's Ark and Sodom and Gomorrah among a lot of other places uh, a lot of other items that are famous uh, and in the Bible so there is but somebody was telling me on Reddit that Ron Wyatt is a fraud and you shouldn't listen to a word that he says because of his because he's a fraud and it's like, how can you say that that's the case? Especially when you look at the discovery of the Ark. I mean, Ron Wyatt at the time was in his 60s. You know, how, did, how could he have possibly hoaxed what he found? Obviously, if you haven't seen what he found, then just Google it and, and you'll see that he found something that is the exact same size as Noah's Ark was described in the book of Genesis, left in the exact same place. That the book of Genesis says it was left. I mean, and it's an ark. It's a man-made, looks like an ark. So you can't, you know, Ron Wyatt might be a fraud for all I know. I've never seen no evidence of that, in all honesty. I mean, just because you disagree with somebody's research doesn't automatically make them a fraud. But that's how they, a lot of these people think. So if you're going to say that Ron Wyatt's a fraud based on that then you're obviously saying that what he's doing is fraud is fraudulent like you know it shouldn't it should be ignored so then you've got to explain that how did he fraud that how did he make it look like there's a giant arc in the middle of the mountains in the middle of nowhere in turkey i mean it doesn't matter if you 
believe he's a fraud or not because you haven't got to look at the man you've got to look at the evidence that he's showing you no i don't believe he's a fraud in all fairness i've never seen any sign of it and i do believe and i've listened to lots of interviews from ron wyatt and i've seen lots of opinions about him and i believe that he genuinely believed what he found was the real deal and when you see what he found it appears that it probably was the real deal but some people just have to like uh they have to try to undermine everything that goes against what they already believe. And I actually believe that this is a problem with Reddit and Facebook and all these social medias, you know, and video platforms in the UK, is that they're not, uh, they're not challenging people's beliefs anymore. They're just having their beliefs enforced to them all the time. They follow what they, what they believe. They follow people that promote what they believe, and that's it then, that's all they'll see. They'll just see what they believe, reinforced to them every single time they go on the internet. And I think that's the downside of the internet nowadays. I think there was a time where the internet didn't know what you believed, because obviously the internet was new, and it just put up what, you know, it was all done by a click basis sort of thing. Things would get popular by how many people clicked them by chance, not necessarily believing in what they was watching, just listening, you know what I mean, and maybe believing later, do you know what I mean, having their beliefs challenged a little bit, but now I think everybody just have the, has the beliefs reinforced, and you see that all the time with this debate on gender that's going on. Now I was on Reddit, I mean, a few weeks ago, and I was using Reddit, and to be honest, I went onto a page called Christianity, and I posted a story, uh, I posted a video on on this web, on this page, and I genuinely believed it was a Christian subreddit, you know, that's why it was called Christianity, but obviously I posted this video about Jesus, and straight away I get loads of people messaging me like, about how it's all bullshit, and you know, a lot of these people have got like atheists or agnostics written next to the names, or LGBT and all this shit written next to the names, like, and, you know, they literally started throwing insults and stuff because I posted this on this page. So then, like, obviously that led me then to post other stuff on the page because I thought, at the end of the day, what, do you think I'm not going to post something on the page because you don't like it? I mean, it's, at the end of the day, it was called Christianity, the page was. As far as I was concerned, it was a Christian page at the time. I didn't know it was just a page for a lot of people to troll Christianity. And then when somebody actually comes and tries to defend it, they get called the troll, because that's exactly what happened. They started calling me the troll. Uh, Reddit actually banned me for, from using the page. Even though, really, all I was doing was writing down and posting links that seem to suggest evidence of God, scientific evidence of God, because these people claim to be so scientific. And so scientific, in fact, that 29% of scientists nowadays can't actually tell you the difference between a man and a woman. I think you can be too scientific sometimes. And I think that's the same with uh, the people that are falling for it. I don't think they've actually looked at the research. I don't think that they know what they're talking about at all. I mean, people was messaging me on this Reddit page, and I only mentioned gender as a way to to troll, basically, because at the end of the day, when you're being trolled, it's your natural defense to do it back. And, you know, I thought, we'll see what they, they think of the gender ideology, and most of them uh, believed it and was offended that I even questioned it. I mean, and Reddit actually took me down in the end just for posting a question like something like, you know, Christians believe in two genders. You know, what do you scientifically minded people believe? Now, that was telling me that most scientists believe in gender theory now, but they obviously don't because 58% of scientists, according to a poll by, uh, is it by the Telegraph or was it by, by, by the Telegraph, believed that sex is binary. So they didn't believe in gender theory, they didn't believe in uh, in all this nonsense. They don't believe in men taking part in women's sports. 
at least the vast majority of them didn't, but 29% do, and that's a massive increase compared to 10 or 20 or 30 years ago, because 20 or 30 years ago you'd have been laughed at for saying that a woman can have a penis and a man can have a baby, I mean, you know, that, that would have been laughed at. Now, I actually watched a video on YouTube showing what he claimed was one of the first men to ever give birth, and this man was a trans man, so it was obviously a woman who I don't, I mean, it did look like a man, obviously been taking hormones or something, hormone, uh, taking testosterone or something, so, uh, so she looked very mannish, but it was still a woman, it was a woman that was giving birth, obviously a man can't give birth because that's scientifically impossible, it was a woman who identified as a man giving birth, and the news tried to say that it was a man, one of the first ever men, to give birth. And, you know, it's just absolutely ridiculous. But I think what you're starting to see now is you're starting to see Christianity being totally removed from English, British society. It's being removed and replaced with something totally different. I mean... You know, recently it was Lent in Christianity and it was obviously Ramadan in, Ramadan in, in Islam. And for some reason, Ramadan got all the attention by the media. I mean, FIFA, on FIFA, on artists, it even done a, 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 Ram, a Ramadan special. Whereas Lent was pretty much brushed aside. It's like... It's like Britain cannot wait to get rid of its traditional Christian roots. You know, the roots that have got us where we are now, and we're starting to move away from it. And we're starting to let people that have got agendas decide what's right and wrong now. And anybody who disagrees with these people is is silenced. And, you know, ready, like I say, they banned me twice, they banned me for seven days and then banned me for another three days after it as well and now they've still banned me from the page as well so I'm banned from Reddit but they won't let me on debate an atheist anymore so you can debate an atheist but don't upset an atheist on Reddit and you know and I really didn't say anything offensive to anybody it's just that they do not want an actual scientific debate because they know that they cannot win a scientific debate because they're talking nothing but a load of nonsense and this nonsense is being backed up by teachers and I mean teachers have all got this sort of crazy mentality now they're giving it to the kids they're spreading it to the school they're putting it into the school system they're removing Christianity and God out of the school system at the same time and we're brainwashing these next generation to have no respect or fear of God whatsoever, but to have total respect of the uh, establishment and what they want and the media and do what they say. And that was the trouble with the vaccines. And now you're going to start seeing that that's going to be the trouble with everything. Because unless these kids wake up themselves, we're starting to live in a country now that is not a Christian country anymore. I mean, it's the speed of its deterioration in the UK is is worrying, and you know people who don't think it's worrying. Let's see what sort of society we're going to create without Christianity involved now, because it's already going into into weird directions. A lot of scientists and a lot of atheists used to claim that removing religion and removing God out of people's everyday thinking and beliefs would create more rational thinkers but I think actually it seems to be creating the exact opposite we seem to be becoming dependent on the establishment and you know we, they're worshipping people that are wealthy wealthy people they, they put them as on some sort of pedestal like these people are the important when these people are just as flawed as everybody else the corrupt the lawyers and these people are still believing everything they do and what's even worse is i don't even mind they can do what they want they can dress how they want i don't honestly
care one bit about a bloke dress a man that wants to dress up as a woman or a woman that wants to dress up as a man but it's when they take it to the schools that it irritates me when you've got drag queens going into the schools when christians are told told all the time not to bring religion into schools i mean they're, they're, they're making an effort to remove religion from schools and at the same time they're taking drag queens into schools and undermining religion like that as well but you know it's it's islam that seems to be more tolerated than christianity in the united kingdom at the moment which is pretty strange as well but uh but islam is also against uh, a lot of the things that are being promoted in this country as well i mean really islam and christianity have they disagree on on quite a lot of stuff but they do agree on much more stuff than than what the other sides agree on but it's it's one of them well uh, it all remains to be seen what sort of society is going to be created now that we move christianity out of the equation in the united kingdom and i don't think it's going to be an improvement in fact i'm 100 percent sure it won't be it'll be worse and you know maybe people should start realizing that we've been blessed in this country because of christianity and because of the, the tolerance that christianity has promoted for all these years i mean people might not believe in god and you know obviously the history of people like the catholic church we all know that the catholic church is corrupt but the book itself and the morals of christianity are not corrupt and they never will be and the teachings of jesus will never be outdated they will never be corrupted so it doesn't even matter about the religious leaders because it's all about the book and it's all about god it's not about anything else at the end of the day so the people that don't want to be ruled by by this tolerant forgiving religion are now choosing to be ruled by something else i'll leave it at that anyway thanks for watching watch out for the next video thank you i'm out